Apex. We've been at this location since 1994, so we've been building out this funky warehouse theater since then, just piece by piece, bit by bit. And we are celebrating our 25th birthday gala. Wow. There's information in your program about that. And that's next Friday and Saturday. So it'll be the 25th anniversary of our very first show ever in Austin. And we're really excited about that. Uh, for, the, for the kids, we have a, a Mad Hatter's Fairy Tea Party on Saturday from 5 to 7 on the 11th. So I invite you all to come back, wear your fairy wings, your princess outfits, and your Mad Hatter's and uh, celebrate with uh, with our families. And then the other entertainment, it runs for two nights. It's a full slate of programming. And all of this is to raise money for our new lighting system, which um, we desperately need. <laughs> um, and there's more information about the Vortex, and you can get on our mailing list if you fill out this yellow form. And there's also what's coming up on our, on our season. So if you all like dogs, yeah. Okay, so um, please do remember, if you haven't done so already, to turn off your cell phones, and please no flash photography or texting, it distracts the dogs, all right? And uh, we don't have an intermission in the performance tonight, but the Butterfly Bar is part of the Vortex, and Patrizzi's is part of the Vortex, so if you want to stick around afterwards and have something to drink or have dinner, I can't recommend the Italian food at Patrizzi's highly enough. Um, we all, I also want to give a shout out to all of our friends who are watching. This, is, this performance tonight is being live streamed around the world on HowlRound. So Howl, HowlRound, dogs, um, it seems only appropriate. We want to welcome everybody um, on HowlRound and say thanks for being there. Um, it may be just a couple of you, but um, hopefully they're watching from interesting. Let us know where you're watching from. We're very interested to know who's watching the show tonight from remote locations. And uh, we're going to be doing that a lot. So if you don't get out to the theater very much, you can check us out. Um, we'll try to put all of our shows up at least once online so you can see it from your house. Um, thanks again so much tonight, Lynn. Uh, let's give a, a big welcome to Circus Chicken Dog. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
They love each other so much. And so the first thing they do when they wake up, when they're both awake and they see each other for the first time, they always give each other a big hug, mouse. <laughs> give each other a big hug. The mouse will be like, I love you so much, Moose. And Moose is like, I love you too, Mouse. And Mouse is like, not as much as I love you. And Moose is like, I love you more. And Mouse is like, oh no, I love you more. And then they always get into a big fight about who loves each other more. Moose. Take this. 
this dog out. Okay, you need to train this dog, okay? Okay, you can take this dog on trips with you. Eiffel Tower. To Paris, and you take it even to Mars on a rocket ship. Like the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> now, you can even, oh, here's something you can't do with a regular dog. You can actually juggle this dog. Whoa, so if you like to have a dog, you can juggle. That won't be a dog. Watch out, <laughs> dog juggling. Merry Christmas, Clara. Merry Christmas. Yay! Aww. 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 Fritz? Yeah? What did I tell you about being nice to your sister? One yeah. more outburst, you're going to your room. Clara, I promise this isn't what Darren and me talked about, okay? This is a surprise to me, too. There better okay, be something so else. You, it's there okay better be something else. It's okay for her to okay. have a dog, okay? Because it just so happens I did put a dog in here. It's not a real dog. It's just a puppet. Fritz. Yeah. Room. Now. Go. Oh. <laughs> Clara? Yeah? Give me one. I'll, I'll promise I'll take. Darren? Fix this. You want her to have I want okay. you to fix this. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Now, I promise earlier he brought something far cuter, and I'm trying to make sure that he takes care of it now. And you're going to love the gift, and we're going to help you take care of it, and it's going to be the thing you always wanted, okay? Okay. Now, it looks like Darren's taking care of it now. And, all right, we're ready. Are you ready? You ready? Yeah. We're going to open your present, okay? okay? You ready? Okay, here, here we go. Dog. dog. All right, let's see. Let's see. Up, 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 up. Wait, Darren. Why is that box empty? I put a dog in there. I saw you put a dog in there, Darren. So. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Wait, Darren, no, no. Tip it over. Wait, wait. Tip it over. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's... Okay, let's look really carefully. Look, do you see? Oh no. Oh, oh. I, okay, Claire, I, I promise that we, Darren got you a dog. We're gonna find the dog and then we'll bring it to you, okay? What? Go to, go to your room and we'll we'll, we'll fix this. Sorry, Clara. <laughs> Darren, we'll your fix dad this. didn't want you to have the dog. Darren, <laughs> no, you, you told me. Don't you don't put it so me. You did not oh, want him to have a dog. Darren. Oh, I'm sorry, Clara. No, no. I don't know. You saw me put it in there. You put it in the wrong box first. Well, you put it in the right box.
all dogs eventually end up at the land of the muttcracker. Sweet! And since we're from the land of the muttcracker, Sweet! Sweet! We can, we can take you there, and I'm sure your dog will show up, because yeah. it's the land of the muttcracker. Sweet! Yeah. How does that so, sound? It sounds, I think, I think we should, wait a minute. She, you know, it's a long way away. And there's that, there's that, she's a little girl. There's that big ocean. And, and she <laughs> she <laughs> may not want to go. She oh. may be too scared. So, hey, Clara, let me ask you. How would you feel about going to the land of the muttcracker? Okay, well, I think we can take her. Uh, what, but how are we going to get there? Yeah, there's a whole ocean to get Yeah, the, uh, yeah it's oh, a wait, long way away. It's wait. dangerous. What? 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 what, what? Stop hitting me. Dear, the captain. No, but he's in such a bad mood. I know. We shouldn't talk to him. Um, what the first mate? Ah, oh, the weak link. The okay, weak, right? Yes. Go, All right. go get Lauren. Okay, I'm gonna get Lauren. Right. Me and Dan befriended this pirate captain a long time ago. I, I know, I know, it sounds dangerous. But this is a friendly pirate captain, and his first mate is kind of this weak link. Right now he's kind of grumpy, but if we can convince the first mate that you're a good person, then you can come on the ship. This is Lauren McCaw. She's the first mate for the ship, and if... if Daryl, Daryl, introduce you guys, okay? Yes. Now, Lauren wasn't always a pirate, okay? The, the pirate captain, she always makes me play the part of the pirate captain. He walked right up to Lauren, he's looking for new conscripts, he walked right up to Lauren and said, hello. Hello. Lauren said, hello. And, Lauren, and the pirate said, hey, how would you like to be a pirate? And Lauren's like, no. And he was like, are you sure? Don't you want to be a pirate? And she's like, no. And he was like, wait a minute. Maybe I better bribe her. And he was like, okay. Well, I bet I have your favorite food. Do you like lollipops? Do you like lollipops? And, he, and Lauren was like, do I like lollipops? And she broke out in song. She was like, lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, lollipop, 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 oh, lolly, lollipop. And so the pirate captain was like, so you want some lollipops? And Lauren was like, oh yeah. And, and the pirate captain was like, you know, it's a lot of fun being on a pirate ship. And like, you get to party, and you get to play, and you get to dance all the time. Do you like dancing, Lauren? Yeah? And after eating all those lollipops, how's your head feel? And then Lauren started dancing. And then she went to a tutor and he's like, 
Look, all you have to remember is three always comes after two. Three always comes after two. So she made up a song about it so she would remember. It goes one, two, and one, two, and one, two, and one, two. Yay! So she had to work her way through college, and it was it was tough. She started, she started doing birthday parties. She was singing at birthday parties, and she would sing, happy, happy, birthday to
Darren didn't drown. Whoa. I wanted to land a mud cracker. Sweet. I, I feel like today really couldn't go worse. I said it once before and the mouse king showed up, but he's gone, so I feel like that's not gonna be a concern. So today's really only gonna be better for today. Uh oh. Uh oh. Darren, the mouse king. Yes, I am. I'm going to eat everything.
you're not afraid of dogs. But some people are. So we like to show everybody just how well trained and handling our dogs are and the connection Darren has. And when Darren says, stay somewhere, they're going to stay there no matter what. Yeah, but well, you see how out of control these dogs are. They're always running around, they're jumping on stuff. So, so yeah, okay, utter chaos. The doorbell rings and you've got total chaos. So I taught the dogs to stay on this box so that, okay, there, it's total chaos, but it's confined to one little space. So I told Moose and Mouse, y'all stay on the box, and that way, like the doorbell rings, you can go answer the doorbell, and you don't have to worry about what <laughs> happens to the dogs. They stay right on the box. Right you don't mouse. have to worry about them being there because they're Here's on. Here's Mouse again. Mouse. Here, you lost Mouse. Mouse. But what about that, what about that thing with the prepositions? Oh, yeah, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes she thinks that on is under. She gets confused with prepositions. Mouse. So, oh, maybe she's under the box. Maybe she's under Mouse. the box, yeah. Mouse. Okay, I don't know what happened to them. I think we just lost, I think we just lost the dog, Aaron. Oh, wait. I used you the whole time. There he is. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Oh, it's okay. We'll move on, okay? Okay. Anyways, that just goes to show how well trained our dogs are. Now, one of the things that makes our circus really kind of, uh, intriguing and new is that we always bring in new acts and new talent. For example, we just got two new puppies that we're bringing into the circus. Yeah, well, we don't like to have, like, old dog being <laughs> total chaos. It's, it's, uh, we like to balance it out. Hey, Derek, how about I talk and you get the dogs? All right. <laughs> now, Derek, we're bringing the new, two new puppies. Their names are Coyote and Squirrel. Now, obviously, they're not coyotes or squirrels. Those are their spirit animals. <laughs> so, uh, that one is squirrel, and this one is coyote. Now, you'll notice that we put an orange vest on coyote. It's so that you know anywhere coyote is is an instant disaster zone. So if this cute little puppy starts getting anywhere close to you, run! Okay? All right. Total chaos. Don't say no, it is true. Okay, Cody. <laughs> now, yes, how would you like to have a pretend yo-yo, Clara? Would you like to have a pretend yo-yo? No. No. This is a yo-yo. No. Now, this dog is pretty much out of control. It's just like crazy. So, um, I, think, I think he's been regressing to... trash can. 
hand. Okay, and maybe maybe you can wind up having crash because you love crash so much. Now this dog right here, this is Squirrel. Okay, okay, he's got a. Uh, I say he. But okay, it's a green vest because he's such a new dog. He's our little greenhorn. Now you see, he was he was aspiring to be a longhorn. But uh, Squirrel, Squirrel was born a boy, so I get confused sometimes, but he gender identifies as a girl. <laughs> Not so much because of the gender, I don't think, but because he loves the, the term Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl. <laughs> sometimes he'll sit. <laughs> she. Thank you. 
obviously it's a lot of things, but one of the things that we have that nobody else has is that Darren has this ability to talk to dogs. Understand them. Some people would call him like a, um, a dog whisperer, but that's copyrighted, so we can't do that. So we call him a good dog talker to her. And one of the things that we learned with Darren's unique ability is that Mouse and Moose actually grew up on a ranch as cowboys. And some of the things that they learned there, they brought to the circus, they actually taught Darren a really cool trick. Mm -hmm. It's the first time a dog has taught a human a trick. Yeah. So Darren, can you, can you tell us a little bit about the talk sheet? Cowboys. Yes, well, Moose told me that cowboys in the Old West used to jump rope. But they did it a little bit differently than kids today do it. So I'm going to show you how Moose taught me to jump rope. This is how Moose told me a cowboy would spin his rope, and this is how a cowboy jumps rope. Just like this. Whoop. 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 Now, cowboys used to hula hoop as well, and here's how a cowboy would hula hoop. Like, Whoop. And the super hard way of jumping rope, I will show you right here. Moose worked really hard 
learned about rhythmic gymnastics, and she did the ribbon dance. <laughs>
and I was going along a wall back and forth all day long trying to figure out how to ride it, and I never got where I could ride it, but I was trying really hard, sweating profusely all day long, and that GPS device said that I'd gone 25 miles. 25 miles? Yes. Sweating profusely? Yes. Sitting here? Right. And, uh, I was wearing up with my face. Right. And remember how I was complaining about how you ate all the fresh fruit and vegetables? I like bananas, okay? Uh, yeah, I know, but there was only one thing I could find left to eat. It wasn't the... The three cans of beans. <laughs> Before I rode 25 oh, miles. Did nice. you at least wear like clean biking shorts? No, or... uh, no. I did a hundred mile ride in the biking shorts yesterday. <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have words okay. after the show, okay? okay. You said anything? I re I'm regretting this now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Can I change my where I'm gonna bow? No? Alright. It's a good thing. Wow. That's just really bright. That thing's heavy. Alright, here we go. Ready. Okay. I was not asking you, I was asking me. Okay. It's a whole. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
tired of you outdoing me every time. Well, that's what brothers are for. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna have you on a unicycle, playing music, okay? And juggling, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> what, what, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, juggling. But it's not enough to just juggle. I, I need you to play something or do something kind of with like a, an animal theme, like um... Oh, a dog! <laughs>
kids say hello to the cast. Thank you once again for coming out. Hope you have a great new year. You can check, he always forgets this, you can check upcoming events on our discreetly hidden website. Um, and we're about to do a run of Saturday morning shows as well at the Institute.